20 years ago, I spoke no Japanese. Absolutely none. I went all of a sudden. I, I thought I couldn't speak any Japanese, but I realized that by virtue of being an English speaker, I could automatically speak a little bit of Japanese. And the reason of, is this. If you say certain words of the English language in a Japanese way, in a katakana way, they magically become Japanese. This is very useful for if you go to Japan for the first time, just learn the katakana syllabary, right? We have an alphabet, they have a syllabary, right? So we, or for us, it's A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, etc. For, that, for Jap Japan, it's a syllabary, which means it's syllables. A, I, U, E, O, kakiku, ge, ko, sashi, su, so, rari, ru, etc. Right? So, so in theory, you can't end a syllable or a word in a consonant. Everything has to end in a vowel. So that's the key to making it sound like katakanesh. And the, the default vowel at the end of the words is, is a U. So if you just remember this, that's a really simple rule. If you just remember this, the first time I went to Japan, I was thirsty. I didn't know any Japanese, but I memorized the katakana on the plane. And I got off and I went into an izakaya and I looked at the waitress and I just, I wanted a beer. Just a beer, and I didn't know how to say, I didn't know if this would work or not, but I just said, I said, be do <laughs> and don. The waitress brought me a beer. And I thought, oh. <laughs> I just communicated in Japanese. I tried other ones. I wanted a wine, so I just said, why mm, and don, she brought it. I saw, you know, I tried harder words. Cheeseburger, cheese, baga, don. And I wanted to see how far this could actually go. Because my, my vocabulary is expanding exponentially, daily at this point. But I wanted to see how far I could take this. You want to know your limits. I was feeling a little bit nostalgic for my mother's banana chocolate chip cake. And I was sure, I'm sure they have it in the Japanese bakeries, but I was positive that this was not an actual Japanese word. But I just went in and I tried it. I went to the bakery and I said, banana chocolate chip cake. And oh, I got it! I got it! And I thought, wow! Japanese is so easy. <laughs> it's just English spoken a little bit differently. <laughs> Problem is there's times when this works, times when it doesn't work, times when it doesn't work, you run into problems. I ran out a few years ago at my Tokyo, my Tokyo apartment, I ran out of soap. And I'd forgotten the Japanese word for soap, so I looked it up uh, on Google, the Google Translate, and it came up second. It was a very difficult Chinese character to write second, but at least I can remember the sound second, 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 second. And I went to the local convenience store, and I just asked the guy at the counter, I said, Sumasen, excuse me. He said, yes, sir, can I help you? And I said, second, kudasai. I want the second. Sir, I'm not sure if we stocked that item. Could you please repeat that one more time? I said, what do you want? Second, this one, second, huh? Second, second, this one, second. Sir, I'll just have to check with my manager if we have it or not. Could you please repeat it one more time? I said, how many times do you want me to repeat it? Huh? Second, 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 second. Okay, here's the thing. I've been in Japan 18 years, well, 20 years now, but 18 years at the time. It's a couple years ago. I feel like I'm quite Japanese in my heart and, and, and as far as language goes and for integrating into the culture, I feel like I'm quite Japanese. But there will always be a Canadian aspect to me. There will always be the foreign aspect that I can't get rid of. There will always be the gaijin in me. And it is in these cases, okay? It's a very strict rule. If a Japanese person does not understand my Japanese, it must be their fault. So the solution is to say it louder and quicker and more slowly and more emphatically and try different ways and he will definitely understand me. Right? Of course it's not his fault. <laughs> but I always feel that way. So I kept saying, second, come on, second, second. You know this, second, second, second. Sir, perhaps that is an item which they only sell in America? I said, no, I know you have it here. I realized after that it wasn't his fault. That was my mispronunciation. I was leaving out a very important part of this Japanese syllabary that I was talking to you about. It's an important syllable. It's called the little tsu, or chi sai tsu. Those of you who learn Japanese, I think you're trying to get around this. Now there's two tsus in Japanese, right? There's the big tsu, very easy because it makes a sound. Tsu, okay? The little tsu makes no sound, okay? It's a little syllab syllabaric letter that instructs you to wait infinitesimally before proceeding to the next syllable. So it's not second, which is what I was saying, it's second. Yeah, 
I mean, those of you who don't speak Japanese yet, you're looking at me, right? Like, there was a lady, I explained this in Scotland. So it's, it's not second, it's second. At the Edinburgh Festival, I was performing for 10 people, 10 Scottish ladies. And it's not second, it's second. And one of the ladies said, oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> exactly the way I feel about this little too. Because there's nothing in English that just says wait for a little bit before you go to the next level, right? So it's hard for us foreigners to hear if they have it or if they don't. I still don't get it. Right? I, I think that was the problem. But he just refused to understand what I was saying. I was like, Se second, second, you know this one, second, come on, second, 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 second. Every variation except the correct one, as we have, right? Second, second, second. Sir, could you please just calm down for one minute for me? I'm just not sure I've ever heard of the item that you were looking for. Never heard of the item I'm looking for. Look, okay. When I wash my hair, what is the Japanese word for this that I use in my head here, huh? Shampoo, right? This shampoo, I want the hand version. I want to wash my hands. I want to wash my hands. Ah, oh, sir, if you would like to wash your hands, at the back of this room, there is a door. In the next room, there is a sink. That's the toilet. <laughs> that much Japanese I know. And I gave up. And I searched myself. I gave up. I searched myself. I found what I was looking for. But I want to know the proper pronunciation for this. Because in three or four weeks, I'm going to run out. And I'm going to go through this whole thing again, which I don't want to do. So I went back to him. Went back to the same guy. I said, this, you, ha, huh? this. This is what I wanted. This is what I was looking for. This is the item I wanted to buy. What is the proper Japanese pronunciation for this item? And he said, oh, sir, the proper Japanese pronunciation for that item is hand soap. <laughs> Thank you for teaching me English. <laughs>